guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a really quick and easy recipe for slice and bake cookies. So I will make sure to link the recipe and the ingredients in the description box, so please make sure to check that out. But you are going to need oats, some salt, flour, an egg, sugar, and vanilla. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off by creaming our butter and sugar, and we are going to mix it until it's nice and light and fluffy. Now I'm going to add my vanilla and my egg. So everything is nice and combined. I'm gonna set this aside for a second and then I'm gonna mix up my dry ingredients. So in a separate bowl, I'm going to add my flour, my salt, and my oats. And I'm just gonna mix it up And since these are slice and bake cookies, it means you're not going to bake these immediately. You're going to uh, wanna roll these up, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. You're gonna wanna roll them up, and then you're going to refrigerate them for at least a few hours or overnight. And I am going to refrigerate mine overnight. So I have everything all combined, my dry ingredients and I'm just going to add my dry ingredients to my butter mixture. I'm just gonna pour it in. And mix it up. And if you want to use your mixture, you can. So whatever is easier for you. So I just wanted to combine this a little bit before I pull my mixer back out. So here's my dough. I've got it all mixed up and I am going to grab a like a, you can use your countertop if you want to, but I'm going to use just kind of like a, a plastic, you know, um, sheet or whatever you happen to have. And I'm just going to roll this up into a log. All right, guys, so I have my mat here. I could not think of that word before, but I have my mat here and I have just pulled out my cookie dough and I'm going to form a log. Now, if you wanna make one big log, you can. I think I'm gonna split this up into two logs. And I'm just gonna to wanna to work to kinda of get it together. And when you think about putting this in a log or making this into a log, think about the refrigerator cookie dough, like the Pillsbury or the Nestle's Toll House. That's kinda of the size that you want your log to be. And this is a pretty easy dough to work with. It doesn't really stick to your fingers much, but you definitely want to refrigerate it. Um, that's going to help the cookie stay together and help the cookie not spread so much. Plus, it's going to allow all those flavors to come together. So I've got one log right here. Like I said, you can make this into a, a much bigger log, but I'm just going to make my dough into two logs. So I have a log here and let me work on the other log. Okay, so I have my two logs and they're about equal. So I'm gonna wrap these up tightly in saran wrap. Thank you. 
So here are my two logs. I am going to refrigerate my logs overnight. Um, and you don't have to refrigerate them overnight if you don't want to, but you do need to refrigerate them for at least three hours. So after I've let them refrigerate overnight, I will come back and show you guys how these bake up. Okay guys, I am back. I let my dough chill in my fridge overnight. I took them out and then I have had them resting on my cabinet for about 10 minutes or so. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And that's my baby in the background. He's hanging out. And I got my oven preheated to 350 degrees and all I'm gonna do is thinly slice these cookies. And I'm gonna bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they're golden brown. And as far as the thickness, I don't know. They're like that thin. I'm not, I'm not great with measurements, but we start placing them. And because they're refrigerator cookies, they're not gonna spread a whole lot. All right, so got these all cut up. I'm gonna pop them in my oven. Again, I have my oven pre preheating to 350 degrees, or preheated, I should say. It's already ready to go. I'm gonna pop these in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they're golden brown, and I'll show you what they look like once they come out. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. This is the first batch of cookies that I took out of the oven. I did end up baking them for 12 minutes, and let me show you what the bottom of them what they look like on the bottom, nice and golden brown. So 12 minutes, so this is the first batch. The second batch is cooling and I have another batch in the oven. Howard is going to break open a cookie so you can see what it looks like on the inside. There it is, let me back up a little bit, there it is. And it tastes like a butter cookie, like a nice crunchy butter cookie with a little hint of oatmeal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. See you guys next time.